is this name? I'm so happy to see you here. And today I'm taking you on a boat ride on China's biggest freshwater lake, the Boyang Lake, da 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 da, in East China's Jiangxi Province. But you know what? Today we're not just simply appreciating how beautiful and how vast the lake is. We are here today with the Yangtze Finless Porpoise Expedition Group, and. Um, you know, this is actually a quite big deal because this is the first expedition of such kind uh, in ever since the 10-year fishing ban um, in all natural waterways in, along the Yangtze River came into effect on January 1st, 2021. So today, the, uh, this, this expedition started on September 19th. And this time, the expedition is being carried out using two methods. The first method is visual observation, which is you know using telescopes and your eyes to see the uh, porpoises on the surface of the water. And the second second method is what we are having today, the acoustic monitoring method. And we are, as I am, slowly turning around because the boat is quite wobbly and I don't want to fall over in front of the camera and I don't want my cameraman to fall over so be careful um, as I'm turning around you can see behind me is um, one of the research group members and he is if not the best he is one of the top uh, scientists around the world in the area of inspecting um, the Yangtze finless porpoises so it's it would be a really it's gonna be a really big honor talking to him. So and I'm gonna ask him what kind of technology this is. Niha Hi, 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 nice, really nice to meet you. It's such a pleasure to meet you and to talk to you today. And how how long have you been working uh, in this industry in this area? I mean, how long? How long? Uh, how many years? Oh, more than more than thirty years. More than thirty. Yeah. Wow, that's... What, what, what year did you start working? I think that's going to be before I, I was even born, so I don't want to make him to feel too old. But anyway, can you, can you tell me a little bit about how these technologies work? Uh, what, what do you use it for? Yeah. Uh, we, we put two hydrophones on the water. In the boat. Oh, that's yeah. the thing we saw earlier that you drop into the water. Yeah, yeah. Right. so uh, uh, the, the underwater noise and the sonar signals of the police bubbles will be received by the hydrophones oh. and transmitted to this device. Oh, so these two devices are connected? Yeah, yeah, by the, by the cable. Right. Yeah. So the software well will monitor in and they recognize the sonar signals of the police purpose right. and display the acoustic sighting on this screen mm. so you can see the red dot oh that yeah that means i was gonna ask what these means, red dots are yeah that means in this area at this time some police purpose have been detected by the system Okay. Oh, so right here there, there were some finless purposes right here on where the red dot yeah. is. Let me some finless purpose uh, swimming around uh, swimming, uh, swimming around this area. Okay. So, and so the red dot is uh, the finless purpose detected by the system. Right. And the, 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 the red line the navigation type of this boat. Right. So. so, but when, uh, oh, here it is. Um, so here we have the uh, record of the time that we saw or the uh, detector detected the finless purposes and this is the number of them. Wow, we saw 25 here. I don't know where exactly it is in the map, but we we had 25 finless porpoises underneath the water. That's amazing. And oh, here is uh, the star.
start of observation, found finless porpoises, and end of observation. Uh, this is really cool. So do you receive the data and then go back to the office and analyze everything? Yes, yes. So uh, on the field, we just uh, make a like a, a, a record of yeah. so all the data will be brought to the lab yeah. for more detailed analyze so what exactly do you analyze yeah. you get the data and then go back to the lab what do you analyze yes yeah. like what what do you analyze uh, you use another software mm -hmm. for analyzing the finish purpose, the number of finish purpose. And also, and do you analyze their behaviors? No. Oh, not. no? Yeah, so, but yeah, uh, sometimes we can we can find the, the feeding behavior of the animal because the finish purpose. The feeding? Purpose, yeah, because the, uh, the sonar signals, the finish purpose is used for, uh, for feeding, for catch the fish, and for the navigation uh, are very different. Right. Yeah. So this frame just turned red. Does it mean we found some more animals just now? It yeah. just turned red. See? Can yeah. you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. So earlier this um, frame was... Yeah, see? Yes, yes, yes. This is red. red earlier white. it was white. Yeah. So maybe it means that we just had some finished purposes yeah. underneath again. Oh, that's new! Wow, this moment is quite amazing that you just know, oh, we had uh, Finland's purposes right there, right underneath us. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what about this? It looks like surveillance uh, camera. This is the, 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 the radio, radio yeah. system. Yeah. We, we installed two cameras mm -hmm. on the top of this boat. Yeah. And the camera can capture everything on the water. For example, the, the animal, the finished purpose, mm -hmm. and the, the boats, navigation. Right. So, these pictures, with these images, can be, will be analyzed for, for, for searching the, the finished purpose, mm. if the finished purpose just get out of the water. Right. Yeah. So, this acoustic system, just detect the, the, the finished purpose underwater. Right. And the, the radio system can detect the animal. Uh, on top uh, of, yeah. on the surface. Yeah, yes, yes. So, so they get, get, they work together. Right. Yeah. So yesterday I was actually on a boat with the visual observation group. And uh, can you tell me like what the differences are um, like why do why do we need two methods? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the acoustic system has uh, has, has some um, I mean, some distance limitation. Right. I mean, maybe the animals just get out of out of water around one kilogram. Mm. Yeah, this this. This acoustic system is very effective. Yeah. But out of this range, the acoustic system. It can't detect yeah, it can anymore. Detect everything. Uh, but the visual observation can see much more. Much further? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. So. And so the, the two yeah. methods work together and the, the result will be more accurate, is it that? Yeah, yes. Right. If the group of the animal is, uh, is much more, for example, more than five animals, maybe the visual observation can, can, can get the number of mm. the animals, but the acoustic system cannot. I mean, if the animal the number of the animal is less than five individuals. This team, this system works well. But okay. if the number of the animal is uh, more, more than, than five. five, this system can detect the animals, but it's very difficult for, for counting the number of the animals. Right. Yeah. right. Okay. 
Well, because I was, I was, uh, I told you guys, I was on the um, the visual uh, observation group yesterday. So I saw a lot of um, finless purposes yesterday. We we saw more than today actually. Finless purposes, it's like you can barely see them. If it, if they weren't black, then you can barely see them. But when they get out of water, you can only see the back of it. It doesn't jump really high in the air. So yesterday when I saw those Phyllis porpoises, I was really, really, really excited. I was screaming, I was shouting. I was like seeing something for the first time. It was my first time seeing a, you know, an endangered species. So let's have a, I don't know if we're lucky enough today, but let's try and have a look and just wait for a bit if, you know, if we can see any finless purposes today.
indicator for the Yangtze River ecology. Um, they can show if the Yangtze River water is clean or not. They can show if um, you know there there is an abundant amount of uh, you know abundant supply of fish, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, which you know matters a lot to the 400 million people that live in the Yangtze River basin. So you know. Protecting Yangtze River, protecting Yangtze Finland's purposes is really just protecting ourselves, protecting the people that live in the same area. I hope you enjoyed this trip, that you enjoyed this boat ride just as much as I did. Stay tuned, uh, stay tuned with CGTN from CGTN's Great Rivers of China, aka along China's Great Rivers series where we show you seven major water systems of China from the perspectives of natural um, geography, local customs, and the significance of um, the significance to the social and uh, economic development of the regions along the rivers. I'm Ning, I'll see you next time.